because I don't know what my gift is, then guess what? I'm going to make the body lack. <laughs> Amen. Ignorance. Mm, mm, mm. Go to 1 Thessalonians. Not only are people ignorant of spiritual gifts, but many people are ignorant of the death of saints. Amen. Paul had to tell him, look, I don't want you to be ignorant about the death of your loved one, the death of saints. Amen. You can't call them back. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, they don't want to come back. That, I mean, just think about it, they're over there with Jesus. Why would I want to come back over here to fool with all these folk? There ain't no way. First Thessalonians. Chapter number four. Now, you all, we only hear this at the funerals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen? But you have to look at the big picture of this thing. Verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Now see, if I'm not ignorant to what's, going, what's happening to the believer, I will not act a fool at a funeral. I'm not going to be one that's going to try to jump in the casket with mama. Mama! No. I, I, look, if, if y'all ever try that. I'm going to tell a funeral director, open it up and let them get in. And then lock them in there. Amen. If your mama is saved, she's in a better place than you are. And look, 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 the Bible says, if you are still alive when Jesus come back, your mama going to get up first. But people are ignorant, and, and that's why you see all this foolishness happening at, at funerals. Man, I, it's amazing how folk act. And it's only because they just don't know. If I knew, if I knew that the dead in Christ going to rise first, why would I want to hold my loved one back? Mama don't, not, not, your mama already dead. Mama don't leave me. She gone. She gone. But because people are ignorant. And, let me be quite honest with you. And also, you, I found out, I found, this, I found this out. The folk that act indifferent at funerals are the folk that didn't take care of their business while they were still, the person was still alive. They the one that gave them all the hell while they were living. You know? Try to hold them back. Try to hold them back. Look, if, if, if they would have loved up on the person while they were still living, they wouldn't have to act like that. They'd be cool, calm, and collected. You, 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 yeah, yeah. You, I mean, you going to, yeah. That, that, I, look, when my mother died, I was hurt. But I knew life had to go on. Amen. Let's pay for the funeral. Let's go. I was in church the next week. And they were like, well, you, you here at church? I'm like, yeah, I'm at church. Yes. We buried on Saturday, but in church on Sunday. Ain't, look, ain't nothing else I can do for her. She's in the hands of the Lord. Now, I got to get myself right. Amen. People are ignorant, ignorant. What's going to happen? Oh, watch this now. Acts chapter 17, watch this, watch this. There used to be a time when God would just wink at your ignorance. Oh, they just don't know. <laughs> ain't happening no more. No, 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 no. It ain't happening no more. I, I don't care if the preacher prophet don't tell you what the word of God says. You, he ain't, look, you still responsible. <laughs> Acts chapter 17. Amen. Acts chapter 17. 
Look at verse number 30. Acts chapter 17, verse 30. You ready? And the time of this ignorance, God weeped at. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. I mean, there used to be a time where God just, you know, just overlooked some foolishness. You know, he said, okay, they just don't know. But God said, I ain't weakening at that stuff no more. Your misbehavior, he ain't weakening at it. Amen. <laughs> he ain't weakening at this stuff no more. Man, I, 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 if God was uh, carrying out judgment like he did in the Old Testament, oh, Jesus. And I think because People don't see the judgment of God come upon them right away. They figure they got away with it. Amen. God ain't winking at that stuff no more. You better repent. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. Uh uh uh. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. See if I can make this my last scripture. Acts chapter 4. Verse number 13. Well, let's start at verse number 12. Acts chapter 4, verse number 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Even if your education doesn't match up with where everybody else's is, and they look upon you as ignorant and unlearned, if you've been with Jesus, guess what? You go to the head of the class. <laughs> you go to the head of the class. Amen. You graduate with honors. All because I've been with Jesus. See, being with Jesus eliminates my ignorance. But I got the hunger and thirst after. Amen. I mean, if my life, and it does, depends on my hunger and thirst for God, Amen. And for his word. What, what, what would I be at? See, many people believe that they can't go without food and water. But I submit to you what Jesus said. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. If I don't have this word of God, I can't sustain my life. Amen. This is why this word is so important, that I need it. For my life's sake. Amen. And when I get this word, people say, boy, he sure is smart. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Think about it. I, I mean, the, 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 the things that I do, it's because I talk to the Holy Ghost every day. Yeah. I, 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 get, I, get, I get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the Holy Spirit every day. And it makes me look very brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just going to let y'all in on my secret. See, if you talk to the Holy Spirit every day, man, people think he's smart. And it amazes me to see how educated folk, I mean, degree after degree after degree, still have to sit here and listen to me. I mean, they, they got paper that supersedes my paper. But that don't matter to God. Because I've been with them. <laughs> I've been with him, and he give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I mean, he'll open that thing up and just show you everything about what's going on, and they just sit there and be amazed. Why? Because I've been with him. You won't be ignorant very long when you're with Jesus. 